Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. As usual, let's see how we did last episode and see where we're headed today. So last episode we did a two-parter, we ran about two laps at Texas before finishing last, and Martinsville we finished 30th. We were in the 40s for most of the race, so even finishing 30th feels pretty good. But that leaves us at 28th in the season standing still. Let's see where we're headed now. So continuing the month of April, we are headed to Talladega. We were awful at Daytona, but we have upgraded the car some, so I have a good feeling we can do a little better here today. You guys know the drill. Let's go to practice and then see what kind of changes we can make. So I can already tell we are having a very hard time getting up to speed still. Hopefully we can latch on a little better than we did at Daytona. Car high. But I also have an idea for a good few changes we can make compared to our Daytona setup. So hopefully it is uh, a little more exciting Bravo. than running P41. I think it was. If it wasn't for two DNFs, we would have finished dead last. I have a feeling that running more practice before I make any changes is going to be completely useless, so let's go ahead and see what we can fix. I made a pretty big swing at the gearing change. It very well may have been too far, but we are going to find out. So once I latched onto a car, I feel like I can keep up with it. Still there. But when I'm by myself, I am still really slow. <laughs> Are you telling me Still that there. we're passing Still someone? There's no way. There's no way. So I think I can shorten the gear even a little more. Because we're still not really getting over 7,000 RPMs in fourth gear. I think I'm going to do a little bit more work to it. All right, practice round number three. It definitely takes its time getting up to speed, but I think once we get to full song, we should be pretty all right. Let's see, can I latch on when he passes? Nope, maybe, maybe not. So fourth gear doesn't look like it's going over 7,000 RPMs. This setup, I changed fourth gear specifically. So I think I'm going to maybe change it back the other way. See if that helps us out. And uh, the temps are starting to get a little warm. So I'll probably back the grill tape off a little bit too. So we are out for practice session number four. And I hope we are gonna be faster. Yeah, we definitely don't have the motor that the other guys have to get started, but I think once we're actually moving, we'll be okay. Come on, push me, Dale. Car high. Yeah. Bump draft. So that is our first lap in the 50 second Combo. range. Clear high. Car low. Clear low. I do think I need to make probably one more change, but the car is really not too bad. Car high. Clear high. 
All clear. Yeah, bump in the corners, Dale. Let's go. Carlo. Dale. Clear low, clear high. Ooh, they wrecked like heck. Well, the Hooters car. Dale came out fine. All right then. All right, I'm gonna send it for qualifying and then depending on how bad it is, I might have to run happy hour practice to try and get it going a little better. Okay, so we're definitely not last here, I don't think. So we only get one true qualifying lap. This will be interesting to see how we how we stack up with the field because we were way way last place at Daytona. So I'm interested to see what happens here comparatively. We did get one small motor upgrade, but other than that. I don't think we've done a lot that would help the car out, so I really don't think we should be too fast, but better than last is our goal. We cross the line at 185. Let's see if we can wrap the bottom fairly well here. Not clip the apron. Now remember, the finish line's not in the middle of the tri-oval. It's out farther. All right, let's see where we play. 51.7. I think last place was 56 seconds, so we're definitely better than that. Oh. We're like not half bad. Only two seconds off the pole. Improvements. <laughs> We're making improvements. Well, I'd say that means it's time to race. I'm Alan Bestwick. Welcome to the world's fastest speedway, Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama. Talladega is the biggest, fastest, and most competitive motorsports facility in the world. Speed says it all about this place. This record-breaking two and two-thirds mile trioval keeps drivers glued to earth by virtue of 33 degree banking. Freight trains of stock cars in the draft literally caused the earth to rumble in Alabama. Thank you, Alan. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Car low. And, oh my goodness, we bonked the nose before we made it to the start line. Thanks, Still Dale. There. Hold your line. Clear high. Yeah, we got the gear in it until Car top low. of third, beginning of fourth, and then we're we're not quick anymore. <laughs> Still there. I think once we can get up to speed, though, we might be able to make some moves, but 
Yeah, Ain't first no, have no to <laughs> get up to speed through the draft. Clear high. But man, after how awful Daytona was, this is a very good feeling. Of course, I did not Still practice there. green flag pitting at all, and I believe we are going to have to make a pit stop, probably under green. All clear. Car high. Hold your line. Clear low. Man, it's such a nice feeling to make passes at a super speedway. <laughs> I was I was pretty worried how this series as a whole was going to go after how bad we were in the Cup Series at Daytona. I was half expecting uh, a lot of last place finishes to start the series, so glad we're not doing that. It is a bummer though that these races string out because it would be a lot more fun to run around in a pack versus what we're doing here, but oh well. Hey Dale, remember all that bump drafting you did in practice? You wanna run that back? like somebody blowed up that was a spot so it was somebody in front of us to go. so it appears we're losing ground to Skinner up ahead come on Dale you were bumping me in practice just do it here on the straight I can only go so fast. I do wonder if I just let Dale go around me, would I be able to draft off him and maybe make up some ground? Let's see. You gonna drive around me, Dale? That's not how I thought this was going to go. Still there. Stay low. Still there. Still there. Still there. 
So I guess my car goes faster with people behind me than it does with people in front of me? Interesting. So I can't pass Dale, but I also can't, like, get close enough to push him. But he can't get closer to the guys in front of us. So we just do this, I guess. So once I lose the draft with anybody, they just drive right away. Which is a bummer, but... Again, running 13th compared to 41st, I feel a lot better. Looks like Hamilton and Blaney are catching me, so... Hopefully I can just stick to the front of them. Block in two lanes like it was for the win. I think we're going to be coming up on some lap traffic. So some of these guys are that slow. Like an Arca race where people got the the motors that are down a bunch of horsepower and run 10 seconds off the pace every lap. Okay, that's the halfway mark. That's halfway, yeah, we're pretty low on fuel. So, yeah, I'm gonna pit this time. Fuel. And then after we pit, I assume it'll just stay green. Because when there's no pack, it's kind of hard for there to be wrecks. We're going to do that, and we're going to do that. Slow down! Oh, beautiful. You're low on fuel. Beautiful. Oh, come on, Sterling. Get out of the way. So it looks like it was Mark Martin that was barbecuing over there. So that puts us 35th. I'm going to assume quite a few guys haven't pit yet. Hey, Shauna. Carlo. Bye, Shauna. On the bright side, we were able to Still pit there. with no issues. We didn't speed. 
We didn't miss our pit box. Not that you can, because it's all CPU controlled. Ten laps to go. But hey. We had a decent stop. That's all I can ask for. I did definitely lose a few seconds between people pulling out in front of me in the pits and probably a pretty slow entry so oh I guess we'll see about where I'll cycle out now I think I was 13th before so cycling out to 23rd isn't great but oh well there might be more to the cycle I don't know On the bright side, I am actually catching Park in Kenseth. Not sure how. You'd think at least Matt Kenseth would be one of the faster cars in this game, but hey, what do I know? Look at that. We're passing people. Still there. You're all clear. Don't brother. All clear. What are you doing? Is that the leader? Are you kidding me? I'm about to go a lap down just based on speed? No. I want a lead lap finish, thank you very much. No. 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 Sorry if me bumping the mic just came through but I had to save that and not hit the wall Carlo. oh come on yeah I want to finish on the lead lap, dang it. Five laps to go. Car low. All clear. I don't care how many people I got to wreck to do it. I want a lead lap finish this year. Ward did win the Daytona 500 this season, so it would make sense that he's also very fast here. And he's also probably mad at me for taking his number. But, uh, 
That's okay. Because he's not going to pass me. Come on, man. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. They're just so much faster. There was not a darn thing I could do there. Still there. All clear. Honestly, I'm surprised I held them off that long, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was that was inevitable. But like, lapping up to 21st place just on speed in the span of 20 laps, that's just ridiculous. Car high. The speed disparity in this game is wild. Unless there's some kind of miracle, we're going to finish outside the top 20, unfortunately, but I got to look back at the, the leaderboard later, because if the guys I was running in front of at the end there really finished that far ahead, like... I just, I don't understand, like, my pit stop lap wasn't, like, crazy slow. It wasn't anything special, but... Oh, well. We'll get him next time. So, Ward Burton led all but... Wow, he lapped up to 17th place. That is crazy. Yeah, 32nd was two laps down. Like, goodness gracious. What a bummer. So yeah, Dale Jr., Dave Blaney, they were still like 30 seconds behind. That's crazy. So Mike Wallace, who we were running around most of the race, somehow led a lap and finished in ninth. That doesn't make sense. Bobby Hamilton was 15th. Whatever. We finished 21st. I hope we made money. Look at that, we made some money. Let's go. So we started 16th, finished 21st, nothing super special. That does bump us up to 27th in the points. So we did just pass Schrader, we're over 100 points behind Park, so Maybe we'll move up a little bit, but I don't foresee it. So that is going to do it for another video. I just want to say thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Comment if you've got anything to say. Subscribe if you're not. And I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.